What is going on guys, Ben here. In today's video, what you're gonna see is a lot of bubble star catches, some rare catches, and just, it's a normal day. It was actually, I recorded this footage on Sunday. Uh, in 24 hours, per roughly, is when I'll be leaving for Japan though. So as this, the day this video is uploaded, guys, that is my last day to prepare for Japan. It's currently 3 a.m. in the morning, so I'm gonna head to bed soon. I just wanted to edit this first, because um, I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Got a lot done today, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited to see videos from Japan. That'll be coming soon. Uh, but <clears throat> other than that, guys, yeah, we figured out a Bulbasaur nest actually is near my house, a couple miles away. So a lot of that's gonna be seen from there, and we have some rare catches going to different places. Uh, it's it's crazy man like a, a nest got added there this this park used to have like one spawn point and now it has a ton of them uh, And it's a Bulbasaur nest for the first one. So that's awesome I get a lot of Bulbasaur catches and at the end you're gonna see a pretty awesome Venusaur So I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Let me know what you think in this first clip You're gonna see here. There is no webcam or face cam It's just because this was the first day we discovered it and I didn't have my phone to record it So we're catching a ton of Bulbasaurs while Car Carla is recording So I just wanted to give you that and then it gets into the normal video, but all right, let's get into the video. Look at that. Oh, wow. How do you know which one to pick first? Recording? Yeah. Four of them? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Devil Bulbasaur. Oh my God. So this is confirmed a Bulbasaur in us? I'm gonna spend like a I should spend the whole day here. Got him. But yeah, guys. So this is a crazy, crazy Bulbasaur nest. Four of them at once. This is really close to my, my area too, our house. Like, I was here the other day, like, kind of uh, looking at it. Carly got a four day streak, nice. So it's currently Sunday morning, very windy out, very pretty brisk out, let's go this way. And there's a vibe plume over on the on the other side, on the nice side, well it's not really the nice side, it's not really the nice side, uh, but it's the nice side for Pokemon, you can see the, the water, and we got Carla with us, she's actually wearing a jacket. I'm wearing a t-shirt. This, this breeze is really, really cold. All right, we're just gonna flee this oddish. So, you can see the vibe plume on the radar. Literally, we just woke up. Um, and I was like, okay, we gotta go get this vibe plume. Ah! So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But we also have a pond like this, but, uh, yeah, this is bigger, but, oh yeah, ours is bigger on our side over here but it doesn't even show up on the radar. And I think probably because this this like section of apartments is older and maybe it has more, like when Niantic and Google did their, did their map layouts, like they registered more people that lived here. So maybe that's why it has more spawn points. Cause over by us. Yeah, ours are like a year or two old, two, a year, I think two years old. And yeah, we do not have them. Like any, any spawn points, you can see the difference over here. But usually, typically, good stuff always spawns over here. Where's this vibe plume? All right, 
got the vibe plume and it is extremely windy so I'm gonna turn this way click on it so it doesn't despawn Ooh, CP is yours Mine's 1,801. Nice. We wanted to know solar beam. Because uh, if not, oh well, but yeah guys, it seems like every day I'm taking a morning trip over here now. So it seems as though rare spawns have increased, um, but catch rate seems a little harder. But for every seven catch of the day, I didn't even realize it. Dang it. Because now I could have put a lucky egg on and got double that XP. Dang, so next to my spin a lure, I'm gonna do that, but Viplume, Moonblast, Acid, dang. Certainly caught the attention though. At least it was a lot easier to catch than last time. It's a good morning catch. We're gonna go hit up, oh, I'm gonna go probably hit up the Bulbasaur nest that we have near here. Oh, that's pretty sweet. You guys saw the, saw the clip from earlier. I'm excited for that, cause I can get a Venusaur farmed up, but Maybe head to Nina later today as well. Packer game is today. It's currently Sunday. It's actually starting soon, so I'll listen to that on the radio. Radio, but good start to the day so far. So we did our local drive to our park over here. We still have control of the gym, so that's good. Um, but this is the Bulbasaur nest now. Literally just found out about it yesterday. So we're making the trip back. I'm gonna be coming here as long as, cause like since this is a nest location now, this literally just got added. There only used to be like one spawn point here. Um, so yes, we got spawn points removed from our house, but a lot got added here. Um, and this is a nest area. So now when nests change, well, I'll have to keep an, I'll keep an eye on over here to see what it changes to. Uh, but there's already, we're already gonna catch a bunch of Bulbasaur's here. So it's a good sign. So then we got two more right next to the gym. So we caught six of these last night in a matter of like five minutes. So my recent Bulbasaurs are gonna be insane. Uh, Carlo, was I a little stoked last night when I found out about this? Yes, you were. I wanted to come back at midnight. <laughs> yes, I, I was about to, but decided not to because I, I, I just want to utilize this nest and catch as many. You can already see, I already doubled in candies. Um, hopefully we get a good like IV Bulbasaur because I'm hoping to get a really, really strong IV and then powering it up. Um, I know with Nest, I've in the past, it was hard to find really good IV ones, but I'm pretty sure it's just completely random now. So I, I'm bold, I'm accidentally, I'm accidentally grand poly in this one. But there is two more we can catch. So five we actually caught, sweet. And the reason why I know is the the Poke Tracker um, because it scans my recent look or the areas around me. So that's nice. So the other one. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show every single bulbous in the CP13. Dang, mine are all so weak. Are any of yours strong? Yeah, Carlos are all in like the 700. Mine are like 13. What is this? <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's actually one way back there. We're probably going to have to walk and go get it. So that's fine. But we're going to head and get the other one first. Also nice, we just have a 835 Eevee. This thing is the strongest Eevee I think I've ever caught. I know some people have caught like CP900 Eevees, but let me know what's the strongest Eevee that you guys have caught. Uh, I, regardless of the, uh, what is it, the combat power on this, I'm probably gonna power it up or not power up, evolve it anyways, and hope to get a Vaporeon, because I have so many candies, saving for that Gen 2, it doesn't really matter. If it's a good IV though, it's only above average, but I'll still, Still probably end up evolve. I'll evolve that for you guys right now, actually. Hoping for Vaporeon, Hydro Pump, because you always need more Vaporeons because they're so, so, so strong. But if I get a good IV EV, I might save that for Gen 2, I'm not sure. Flareon, if it knows Flame, uh, flame Fire Blast would be good. Heat Wave, Ember, that's still all right. It's almost maxed out. I already know the IV, but all right. Paul is getting mad because we took a long journey out to the big vast field where one of them is. If you guys see this, this I don't know if you can see it behind me, but behind me there is a baseball field, CP41. Well, at least all of the other ones were good. Hers, hers are like 700, mine have all been crappy, but hey, with the amount of them that are spawning, we can still get a good one. But yeah, this field behind me um, is actually where I played one, of, like where I played one of my first baseball games because I played baseball up until my junior year in high school and loved it uh, until like my shoulder 
uh, it was either like have surgery or deal with it and that's what I did I just dealt with it so I have like a torn meniscus in there most likely but didn't do do anything with it I can still throw now it's better but during the season with all the throwing it was really really rough but oh my god that's five Bulbasaurs today um, yes last night we got six that's already 11 within like less than a day and I'm definitely gonna be coming back here a few times today <laughs> to get more so as a lot of you know I use this phone to record my gameplay that's an Android phone and this phone is my regular phone which is an iPhone so I use a hotspot oh finally a strong one Carl has all been super strong this one's 771 um, but yeah I, I didn't really charge my iPhone last night uh, and it's about to die so we're gonna head home charge it and then edit my videos and then come back here catch some more Bulbasaurs later today <clears throat> still up in the air if we're gonna take the trip to Nina come on caught him because it's like for sure Bulbasaur catch is here for now and I really want to make the most out of that get a super strong Venusaur certainly caught the attention so that's all right guys it's fourth and inches the Packer game is going on they're going for it uh, there is also a victory bell uh, I saw it on the radar I'm gonna have to go and get it but see if come on Packers they're down 16 to 35 they need this on our 30 yard line if, if they don't get this we pretty much lose well, I don't say actually not lose but it'll be it's tough come on yes yes, yes. okay we got it time to get the victory bell so sadly we got all the way over here second trip over here today earlier today was the Viplume but as soon as I clicked on it it despawned and I even ran for it too uh, gonna head back to Four Seasons Park soon I've been just editing my videos for you guys to watch I'm editing the card pack openings uh, honestly really enjoy doing those I hope you guys enjoy watching them they're really fun but can't catch this Eevee uh, but yeah those are really fun they actually do take quite a bit to edit though but let me know if you guys like them uh, yeah but we're gonna go back to Four Seasons get those Get those Bulbasaurs uh, once I'm done editing and once the Packer game's over. But sadly, missed the, uh, the victory bell. So we're back at the park. There's a couple Bulbasaurs around. I think there's three and then there's a Pikachu as well. Uh, the reason why, I was gonna come back here actually a lot more. So this video is gonna get extended into tomorrow morning probably. But yeah, I was gonna come back here a lot more. But there's some last minute and for last minute stuff going down like the trip to Japan all that stuff just figure that out today but you guys are seeing this video tomorrow but this was actually today that this all happened so that took up a majority of the middle of the day watched a little bit of the Packer game so that was all why and then now we're going out to eat right now um, but what do you think of the the Japan trip I'm a little jealous a little jealous <laughs> <laughs> but we have a Pikachu here might go get it we'll see so we're catching up all the We got like a war memorial. So it is actually Veterans Weekend. Uh, well, Veterans Memorial or Veterans Day was actually earlier this week as well. So huge shout out to all of you troops out there. Uh, honestly, like can't think you get like the troops and everything enough for all that they do. The great sacrifice. But this is this is one off of the. is one off of the devil Bulbasaurs. We got another one. Um, but we are getting the bulbous No, don't flee. Okay. Uh, I think there is actually one more. So we're going to go get that one more. The sky looks kind of scary, man. Ooh. So here is the next Bulbasaur. I don't even know what count we're up to. It's a lot of them. We'll just say, ooh, 665. So 667 and now 665. We, not the devil, which is good. Uh, we, someone did end up taking over our gym here. This is mystic territory. This is my territory. Just kidding. Uh, we're gonna take it over though. Uh, hopefully it's not too strong. I don't know. I saw an executor at the top. We'll see exactly. Well, praise are up to already up to 88 candies. That's insane. This one's only <sighs> above average, but the gym has Flareon, Vaporeon, Executor. Shouldn't be too hard to take down. So 
we'll go after that. And I think there's one more Bulbasaur that actually spawned, but just look at the amount. So this is the food we got from a place called Texas Roadhouse. I met one of you guys here as well. Shout out to you. Your, your uh, restaurant is awesome. All right, guys. So just got done eating and we stopped at the mall. Saw Cloyster on the radar. I'm in the woman petite section, not my section. I uh, ditched Carla to go find the cloister, but sadly, it despawned. Caught the coughing, but yeah, this store is open until 10, but the inside of the mall is only open until 9, so I couldn't go and get the cloister. So we had to settle for a coughing. Well, if we, I think we could have got the cloister if it didn't despawn, but yeah, now I'm gonna actually, since it's my, my stepdad's birthday and my sister, my sister's boyfriend's birthday as well. Uh, it was today, so we're celebrating it tomorrow. So we're gonna pick up some good stuff. Well, the day you're watching is, is their birthday. So shout out to them. We are gonna pick up some stuff. Got three of them. <laughs> Ooh, Eevee. So these are three five kilometer eggs. My second Eevee ever hatched. 602 attack. Hopefully that's a good IV. Uh, we're hoping for a Growlithe though. Uh, gonna head out soon though, but it's pretty cool. Got my eggs just from walking around here. We'll take it. I think we have one more. Sorry, you. Not very good. But we'll appraise it. Could be that 100 IV. Made a quick stop at Walmart and in the parking lot. Never mind. You guys saw the pair sect on the screen. It despawned. <laughs> Oops. So since we were by the Walmart, um, I went to another spot that has a bunch of spawns as well, uh, which is NWTC, which is Northeastern Wisconsin. It's a technical college. Um, so yeah, or I, I used to go here as well. Uh, we caught the Lickitung though. There is also a Jolteon on the on the radar so we're gonna go see if we can get that as well i kind of had to walk in towards the campus though to go get him because he was like in the middle of the school but got him uh now we're gonna go see if we can get the jolteon so we made it to the jolteon uh where we just were was over here which is where the campus is hopefully hopefully it's strong Ooh, 1616 so hopefully it knows thunder that is something that we want and a good iv is always nice but guys, I'm gonna be really stingy with my Ultra Balls because if I'm going to Japan to get all those Laprises, I do not want them to get away. And I, I mean, I have over 300, so I should be okay. But nice, Thundershock and Thunder, we'll praise it. It's a wonder, attack, seeds the calculation, so nice. I'd say catch this Jolte on Carla. All right guys, at the Bulbasaur Nest. I had to take a detour at home because I had to go number two. No! <laughs> She's about to sleep. <laughs> we come prepared when it's late night hunting because she does have to get up in the morning. Uh, ooh, three bow sores that we can get. But the Electabuzz from the incense, I just decided to throw up an incense. See if I can get some more bubble sores maybe. Uh, but we got an Electabuzz instead, so nice. And then there, we got two of them. There's actually one more that I might have to go out and get. Uh, there's actually two deer. Two deer uh, chilling. <laughs> chilling uh, right like in front of us if we go further in. I don't wanna... <laughs> it's like a deer just starts chasing me. <laughs> so sorry if the audio is like cutting out here and there or changing a little bit. That's because I probably have to swatch and swapping back between my phone and my other mic recorder that was low on battery or something throughout today's video, but it didn't even tell me. It said it had full battery and it died out like three times in the last few times I was recording my clips, but we were able to get the other Bulbasaur. So we got all three of, well, two of them, one of them flood us and then we'll, we'll this one might flee us as well. Like, why are you so hard to catch? Ultra Ball, great toss. We had a raspberry on the last time. Really? CP 300 and it flees me. <laughs> so that's three that flood me. Eevee here is 820 though. That's pretty good. It's pr 
pretty darn good. Uh, we just need one more egg to, so I can incubate those other ones. And I will be hatching my 10 kilometers before I leave for Japan. Well, you probably see them while I'm in Japan. I got a lot of things I gotta do. 820 Eevee. <laughs> Above average, sadly, but so, so strong. We might even evolve that for the Vaporeon. I know I did that earlier and I evolved it. Well, we're just evolve it anyways. Evolve for you guys. Uh, I did it earlier where I evolved that like 826. We got a Flareon. Give us a Vaporeon. Another Flareon. Uh, we, that's not the one we want. If it knows Fire Blast, it's okay. Ember and Heat Wave. Same one as the last time. <laughs> 859? That is almost 900. Dude, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm really, really positive this is the strongest Bulbasaur I've ever seen. Actually, no, 870 is the strongest one I've caught. I'm surprised by that, all right. Next one we have up here is right next to the sign. Uh, there is one uh, that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get. This one's CP98, I'm actually gonna great ball it because the last time the one that was like CP80 something actually fled us. Oh, don't jump on me, man. So, I'm like, guys, I know I stated this earlier in the video. It is, I'm actually kind of tired, so maybe that's why I don't seem, I seem a little tired, but I'm really, really excited for this Bulbasaur nest. Uh, Bulbasaurs, I know I said this already too, like I see them the least. We already almost have a Venusaur in one day. And I haven't even been here all day. I've been here at a few times. So I can get like so many Bulbasaurs so fast. Uh, I'm really, really lucky for this nest. Uh, and I'm actually really excited to go to Japan too. So guys, gonna stay for a little while though. And yeah. So we made it back home uh, and I checked the IVs. I transferred a lot of them. I caught only a few more and I hatched a few eggs, but Guys, I checked the IVs on all the Bulbasaurs. We have two that are really good. We have a 96 IV, we're just gonna round up here. 95.6 IV Bulbasaur, 667. And then a 93 IV Bulbasaur down here. So these are probably gonna be the two that I will evolve um, eventually. Uh, but this one right now I'm gonna evolve for you guys. You can see we have 134 Bulbasaur candies. So one v pretty much I got a Venusaur in a day. That is insane and if I was there, Cause I only visited there three times and roughly I was probably there for an entirety of like three to four hours for this day. And I got that many Bulbasaurs, that's crazy. So definitely gonna be going back there. Uh, we're hoping for Solar Beam. Vine Whip, Solar Beam will be amazing. Uh, any gr double grass with Solar Beam, please. That's all I care about. Razor Leaf, I'll take as well. Either one, just please give me Solar Beam. If not, it's gonna be a huge disappointment for this 96 IV Venusaur. Yes! Let's go. Man, so pumped about that because uh, this is one, this is gonna be the strong, strong Venusaur. It's super hard to find good IV um, starters or just a good IV Pokemon in general with a good moveset. The good moveset is what's key. Um, so the next time I do a huge power ups for you guys can see I'm ready to start saving up my Stardust. I'll probably wait till like 750k or a million. It all depends. Uh, but this one will definitely get powered up. I am so excited for that. So now I have two Venusaurs I could potentially power up. I have my 91 IV here. Actually, no, it's not that one. It's this 91 IV right here. And then the, the, 90, the 96 one is going to be for sure powered up. Uh, I do have some EVs for you guys as well. Uh, we have a 98 IV EV. Do I want to risk getting a Vaporeon? Yes, I do. So we're evolving the 98 IV EV, man. Come on. Please. Please give me Vaporeon with Hydro Pump. Please be blue. Please be blue. Blue. Dang it, dude. If it knows Thunder, I'll power you up. Okay, okay, okay. So this can actually be useful. Uh, was not the one that I was hoping for. I was hoping for Vaporeon with Water Gun Hydro Pump, but still need a high Cerberus of Electric Pokemon. So I'll definitely power up this uh, Jolteon as well. Uh, we'll save that guy for later, but that's okay. We have a bunch of other things. So guys, the Bulbasaur nest is crazy. Um, if we're gonna get, try and uh, get as many Bulbasaur candies before the nest change, 
uh, because I want to max out some Venusaurs. I think that'll be really, really cool. I think the, my, with my current level, uh, if I maxed out the 96 IV, I think it would be like 2400-ish, to, to, to like mid-2400-ish. But it's crazy. Let me know if the nest I bought around you guys that you're hyped about. Or if you don't have one, like, I literally did not have one before. This is just brand new, that's why I'm so hyped about it. Uh, but either way, we're the video. You can tell I'm tired, it's really early morning, still getting all the Japan stuff figured out. Um, but yeah, that should be a fun time as well. But hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like you did, and if you subscribe for more Pokemon Go, but as if not already, please have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.